I told a lady, I said, so how are you helping me? I said, right now is the best time in the world to default on anything. I said, the banks is borrowing money. The world is borrowing money to survive. All I got to do is send down a statement, just didn't have it. They look at the year, they know what's going on. She said, well, miss, you and your credit. I said, oh, no, baby, you've already messed that up. You done sent to the credit bureau and told them it's five payments behind and you set it up for foreclosure. You're not going to help me. And do I look like I'm sad about it? See, what I'm telling you is that we get wrapped up. Oh, what if they take my car? Go get you another one. What we try to do is live so we can look good to somebody else. But you better save yourself. It ain't going to help you sleep at night, Bob, while somebody saying, oh, uh, uh, he, he know how to live. Boy, he driving this and he driving that and you crying every night. <laughs> Wondering how you going to keep driving the green machine. <laughs> Telling people it's pushing you the wrong way. Well, do you have my next month's payment? Do you have the one after that? She don't need to worry about because see the Bible said anything we lose in this world if we give it up oh God if we give it up he said I'll give it back <laughs> little old house over there he said if I let it go he'll give me houses no man has given up houses or land mother father children sisters brothers that he won't receive a hundredfold in this world. Present. Now. He said now. Now. In this present time. You better discern this body. This body didn't walk around worrying about nothing. Do you see anywhere in the scriptures that Jesus said, I need to be healed? Did you ever hear him pray for healing? You know why? Because that body, Amen. that body was so anointed. That body had so much faith that disease could not stay in that body. If we discern this, I'm telling you what the Lord has revealed to me. You discern this and, and walk in this discernment. Your disease has got to go. You can't be sick with the Lord's body. And in his body, his mind is there. And look what the word said. We have the mind of Christ. Did his mind worry? Did it fret? Did it think it wasn't going to be able to accomplish what it was after? Oh God, you see where I'm trying to take us all? Look at him. Not only was he the bread, not only was he the wine, but he said, I'm the word. He's the word. And the Bible said, is that Isaiah 55? My word shall not go out. Uh-uh. If my word goes out there, Robin, it's for a purpose. It's not going to return unto me empty-handed. Whatever I send my word back, it's coming back. My little dog named Chubby, we used to try to get him to fetch. we throw that bone out there. She'd run out there and smell it and look and come running back up and now bring us the bone. We might have had to do that 10 or 15 times before Chubby would finally pick up the bone. Then she'd come back once she got it with her tail wagging. When she didn't have a bone, she'd just come back like this. That's the way the word of God is. The word. When you said go, go, work that word. Mm -mm -mm. Amen. <laughs> look, look what the word said. My words are spirit, yeah. and they are life. If you're ingesting this word today, you are alive. Yeah. But that scripture ends up saying that verse: "It shall accomplish the thing, whether so ever." I sent it. If I sent it for a soul, it's coming back with that soul. If I sent it for healing, it's coming back with that healing. If I sent it for finance, it's coming back with finance. It is going to accomplish. I can't 
can't finish this today. But I want to leave you with a thought. We see things the wrong way. Let's start taking on the mind of Christ. See, sometimes because things are not going like we want them to go, we look at it as if we're going down. We got to change our thinking pattern. We look at it like old things are hopeless. And sometimes we allow our mouth to say, oh, I will never get past this. I will always be sick. I will always be broke. Bible said you shall have whatsoever you say. These little old lips, some power in these lips, to the good or to bad. So we have to guard our mouth and watch what we're professing not only on our lives but on someone else's life. I happened to walk around the corner today and, and, and this, this pastor was saying, I'm getting ready to start a series from the inside out. He said, in the first part of my series is fasting 40 days. He said, I'm putting the whole world on a fast. And he said, rejoice because it's not about food, but I want you to fast 40 days from wrong thoughts. You remember Wednesday, I talked about we got to purify our minds. Amen. And so this is what it's going to take. We're going to have to start thinking and seeing in a different manner. We got to start saying and claiming the promises in this Bible. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. I see him working for you, but I got to look at his word and say that the Lord, Peter perceived that today, many perceives that God has no respect of persons. So this is why it makes it easy for us to rejoice with them that rejoice. Because we know one day somebody is going to be shouting with us. One day somebody's going to say, I can't believe how God came in. It was like overnight that he lifted them up. The bread and the blood. When you take this cup, the blood of Jesus Christ, his son. What did the Bible say? Cleanseth us from all sins. It didn't just say lying, backbiting. All sins. You can be done stole something last night. Slept around last night in somebody else's bed that you shouldn't have been in. But the Bible said the blood. Glory to God. The blood of Jesus Christ would cleanse us from all sins. No wonder somebody said one time did a song. What can wash away? All of my sins. Is it tied? Is it all? Is it whisk? Is it Pyrex? Is it Oxyclean? Nothing but the blood. Glory to God. Oh, so we're going to take this blood and it's going to wash away every thought that's not like God. It's going to wash our hearts. It's going to be like when David asked, purge me with hyssop. And I shall be clean. Wash me. And I shall be white as snow. I don't care if you choo-choo blue. The blood of Jesus <laughs> will make you white as snow. Are we ready? I don't care what you've done. Get your hearts in the right attitude now. We're going to stop for this sacred part. Daystar Deliverance Ministries is located at 635 West Campbell Road, Suite 201 in Richardson, Texas, 75080. Their phone number is 
480-0200. Their services are Sunday school at 10 a.m. and midday service at 11. Wednesday night has Bible study at 7.30. You can also find them at www.daystardm.org.